Hello everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam. Thank you for joining for today's video for day 26 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. Today's sketch is this green one up here with three photos, large title, embellishment cluster here and here and here. Lots of possibilities with this one. Today's sketch is from Laurie Roach Ross. And yeah, I quite like this uh, sketch. So, what have we got? I can't remember. I've just pulled it out. Looks like we've got a selfie. Let's see. So, oh, we've got lots of stuff. We've got two papers. We've got this one, which is Magic Honeycomb from Queen & Co. And it's the yellow hexagons. Each one has got a little detail. We've got some floral polka dot stripes distressed. The back side is a Magic Words, so it is a Disney-esque paper. Then we have one of my favourite papers, Summer Adventure from Echo Park, with these diamonds and stars and dots on the navy background. And that is the B side of it, which is Summer Adventure, Countless Stars, Echo Park. So those are our two papers. Then looks like we've got a cut file. So we've got a selfie of me at Salford Keys. We have got an acrylic frame that says selfie. And whilst we're just having a little chin wag, let me just remove that protective film whilst I remember, which appears to be on both sides. We also have a couple of cut apart. So we've got bright, happy days and good vibes from Simple stories, I think. Then we have got, what have we got? We've got a few stickers here and here. Loving this banner. We've got a few foam stickers. Sunny days are in tile and some florals. And then we've got some ephemera pieces, which is mostly florals. So let me just, let's have a bit of an organised guys, because we're getting a bit kerfuffled. So I'm going to leave that sort of there. Then we've got some florals, we've got lots of Coco Vanilla, we've got some Obed Marshall, some Paige Evans, some Pink Fresh Studio. We've got some Chamel. Uh, what else have we got? We've got another Obed Marshall. We've got Hello Sunshine, that's from Truly Grateful, Paige Evans, I believe. And then just a couple of other florally pieces, if I can get it up. We've got a leaf, a doodle bug, and then an arrow. An arrow, a arrow, an arrow. Oh, can't talk. Then we have a cut file, yay. We have got one that says lazy, and we have got one that says days and then i do have the innards innards is that the right word <laughs> always sounds a bit gory that the insides shall we say of these pieces this is a page evans cut file so lazy days so i will surmise that when building this page kit i decided that our title was going to be sunny days are lazy days so that's what it's going to be. However, the sketch has three photos. I only have one. So what are we going to do? So what I think we might do is do something a bit quirky and stick the frame on the photo, but keep the photo as a big photo. Sort of something like this, maybe. And then bring in the cut file. Now, I need to decide whether we want to back the cut file or not. And I need to decide which paper is going to be our background. Now, I'm thinking... Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure if I like that frame. So I'm just going to have a little play about here and decide what we want to do. So, Lazy Days is going to just go 
there, so I'm kind of overlapping that. So I think I am going to back the cut file. And I'm only going to use one of these papers. The question is, is it better on the yellow or the blue? And I'm thinking the blue. So let's use, let me just put all this over there. Pull that out, move that over there. We're going to use this to back this cut file. Because I think that's quite bright and happy. So I am just going to back it all in the one colour. So we're going to turn this over like we do. I'm not going to do the whole cut file on camera because it's very repetitive. So I am going to line this up. And then just come up here like so. And what I might do is actually try... Okay. So I'm going to back the cut file. This is how I'm going to do it. It's a little bit hard for me to see because I need to be able to lean forward. And then you will just be watching the back of my head, which is no fun. So I'm going to go off and back this cut file and I will be right back with you. Okay, so cut file is done. We had a little accident up here, but it's fine. It's not done perfectly, but we're going to work with it. It is what it is. So. I am going to start by getting our photo on, which is going to go about here, which is where it is on the sketch, and then we have an embellishment cluster up here, and then two other photos here. I'm not obviously going to add another photo, and I'm still not convinced on this frame, so let's see. Now, I did wonder about... <clears throat> add in one of these but I don't think I am I think we're gonna just dive right in to adding our cut file so lazy days is gonna form part of our title so we're gonna just get some adhesive on here I did it in one piece which is why it's not perfect you know I don't make any attempt to hide the fact that I am a bit of a lazy scrapper so if there is an easy way of doing summer you can guarantee I'm gonna take it sometimes it doesn't work out but that's fine so then I'm gonna overlap this onto here sort of there so there is our cut file lazy days and I'm just gonna use that as an embellishment opportunity it's what we do, isn't it? I have debated doodling the cut file, doing a bit of a staff. And it's one of those things, isn't it? You do it and that's it. You can't take it back. So I'm not sure. We have a pen. We'll leave the pen. See if it tempts us. But in the meantime, I am going to finish our title. So Lazy Days Are Sunny Days is going to be our title. So let's see where this is going to fit. So we're going to pop. Right, so what, oh, let me neck. What we're going to do first is get our tiles, tile stickers, and we're going to pop them on here. So sunny, uh, lazy days are, and then we've got, sunny oh it doesn't fit typical okay so we'll do that so lazy days are sunny days or we could have had sunny days are lazy days but it's fine we're going with this and that's what we are sticking with then i'm gonna add this foam floral up top of there and that's it for now now looking at the stickers we've got I do want to use this banner if we can, but it may well be a little bit too big. Um, so that might not make it on the page. We have got this um, sun and cloud, which I'm going to add in up there. 
And then we have this camera. If I can get it off, there we go. Which I kind of wanted to try and add within the cut file. But if I do that, it's going to be at an angle, which is a bit random, isn't it? What do we think? Is that... Mm. It's quirky, that's one word for it. I don't know. No, that, that's a little bit out there, Adam. Okay, that's fine. So, let's just stick that back down there for a minute, shall we? Now, I am going to use this tab that says happy so let's stick that on our photo and we do have three wordy strips which i am going to use as well they are going to go on our photo so we've got good vibes love this beautiful life and here comes summer so they are going to go there. Let's try and get that a little bit straight. There we go. So that is the basics of it complete. I'm not going to use those cut aparts. So they can go in my Project Life box. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we're going to use some of our die cuts to sort of overlap within our cut file. And let's see where we want to go. So I feel like we need something a little bit bright there. So I'm going to use a bit of oops, a daisy fun foam. Because I've still not got foam dots from the other side of the room. Like I said, lazy. So I'm going to overlap that there. I feel like that works without taking away from what it says. Do you agree? Great. Then we are going to, that was you guys replying to say yes, by the way. Just in case you weren't aware. Um, and yes, I have indeed lost the plot. But I think that happened a long time ago, to be perfectly honest. Then I'm going to add this one in there. I do love using florals. I'm not afraid to use them. Florals are for everybody, not just for the feminine girly layouts. Okay, I definitely don't need this many florals though. <laughs> um, you know, there, there is a limit to what you can use. What about that under there? Mm, it's a bit too meh. Mm. I kind of want something under there, but I don't know whether... This is doing it for me. But let's see. I put that the wrong way now. What about maybe like that? Okay, so we've got that there. It's going to be quite a basic layout that looks nothing like the sketch. But, you know, it is what it is. Can't win them all. And I think it's still still represents the sketch to an extent maybe or maybe i'm just making that up and it looks nothing like the sketch whatsoever which is more like it okay and i'm gonna add a little blue floral up here and i kind of want one more floral i feel like we can fit one in and amongst our s what do we think I'm glad you agree. So I'm going to use this one, which is the light pink down here. And I think that's probably it. What about... That might work there, actually. Just going to put a little bit of tape on there. Tuck that in. And pop that makes that grounded a little bit better I think so that is probably it on the floral front I don't feel like we need any more hello sunshine is not gonna make it either and then I do want to use this arrow I think it just gives us a little 
nice pop of gold, which I love. So I'm going to tuck that in around here. It's not been die cut very well. It's from an embellishment pack. Um, do you find sometimes they're just not cut as good as they could be, but it's fine. Then we've got these sunglasses up here. Look bright. Look on the bright side. I'm not going to use this other floral. That's fine. We've got the banner, the camera, which I'm not going to make it onto this layout. Neither is that one. We've got one more arrow, which is a lovely multicolour. Which I kind of like the idea of sort of factoring in there. Factoring in? That makes no sense. And then on top of that, what about a little word? There we go. Hello there, sunshine. And then I was going to use a couple of flare, but we've got these circle stickers, which I do like. I'm a bit gutted about this banner. I really love that, but I'm sure we'll find another use for it. Now, I was going to use another circle, but I'm not sure we need it. Let's see. I guess that could work there. Wonder, and I think that's probably going to do it, guys. If I'm honest, um, doo -doo -doo. yeah, I think that's probably going to do us for this layout. <coughs> now, it's just a general everyday kind of photo, I'm not going to doodle on the cut file, however, let me know in the comments down below. Do you think I should doodle or not? To doodle or not? Now, I know what Steph will say, but I don't know. What do you think? Doodling or no doodling? Kind of wanny. Probably should have done it before I stuck the florals on, but that's okay. Can make it work. But that is today's layout for day 26 of 30 Days of Sketches. You can see some of the sun peeking through of the blind. Sunny days are here. Um, I love how it's turned out. Actually, I love this background paper so much. Doesn't look anything like the sketch, but that's okay. It inspired this layout, and that's all that matters. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderfully happy, scrappy day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.